Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Karan and welcome back to my channel again. My channel name is Glam to Pre. Hope everyone is fit, fine and take care of themselves. So now we'll be discussing DASA 2024 today. So the basic thing is now JE means first and second attempt is over. And now there's a confusion among the students and the parents that what will be the next step. The same thing we'll be discussing in this video. Along with that, if you want individual counseling, you can join me on my Instagram or through my WhatsApp channel, which the link has been given below in the description. And we can have an individual session in which we'll be making your you know, preference list. Uh, along with the preference list, we'll be making your we can discuss about the colleges and the cutoff as well. Also, this thing we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos. So for that, you can channel subscribe the channel as well. But if you want the individual, there's a, we had kept a very nominal charges and you can join for the individual counseling. So at the left, I will show you each and every detail. So let's get started, right? So this is anyhow BASA 2024 and example. So the first thing I, will, I, will, I want to show you is last year, if you see this portion, this is totally dedicated for the last year. So this year, the JE Mays attempt, uh, second attempt uh, has been done and by the end of this month, you will be getting the results. So then the second is advanced. So if you see last year, the JE advanced result came at 21st June. 21st June, they announced the JE J uh, advanced result right you can see here and if you see the last year the application started for the DASA is June 12 to June 22nd so that means what by that time you will be having your advanced result with you plus J means result also so you will be having J means rank as well as advanced rank those kids who qualified for the advanced they will be having both of the ranks right so on the behalf of that you will be able to judge whether you have to go for je advanced or if you want to apply through dasa so the first confusion is what if you want to go for the advanced and we don't want to go for the dasa if you don't want to go for the DASA, you don't have to apply through the DASA category. You can apply uh, through the uh, this NTA counseling, which will be done after advanced result. The first thing. The second thing is when once you'll be having rank in your hand, so you can compare that rank and you can easily analyze like where exactly you will be getting the colleges. That will you have to refer the previous two or three year DASA cutoffs. So with the reference of that, you'll be getting uh, almost an idea like where exactly you'll be landing this year and what are the possibility of getting the colleges this year, right? So regarding that also, you can have a discussion with us later uh, in the individual counseling. So now if you see here, so this is the last year, right? If you see this year, so this year result will be available 9th June. So hopefully the DASA portal will be again opening like I think in the month of June itself like right now if you see the website also so there's nothing in there so they are keep loading or something like that but I think it will be starting from June so DASA application will be starting from June itself so it will be I think like from June to June end last week right so this will be the DASA basic thing now if you go a little bit down in here so the, the another question is so how how we have to apply you have to visit the DASA website and then you have to apply so basically you have to fee in here CAW is stand for children of Indian working in Gulf right so all the students who are residing in Oman Qatar Bahrain Kuwait all these countries so you have $300 will be the application fees along with that you have to pay the first semester fees. So while you are doing the application you have to fee the first year application sorry admissions fees along with that first semester fees it will be coming around 87 to 90,000 right and likewise for other students also okay. 
So if you go a little bit down, in here I am showing that the total number of seats. So total number of seats are approximately 4,228 and that is divided into CAWG and non-CAWG. CAWG means children of Indian working in Gulf and non-CAWG the rest of the countries. Right? So this will be the basic idea which I am trying to give will be going through the when you're going through the counseling process so once you'll be starting the counseling process then what will be happening you have to make a preference order for yourself like what colleges you want as per your rank and what are your preference orders so in that we'll be helping you out along with that uh, you can see there will be option decline accept uh, accept an upgrade and these two options will be there right so you can see decline is basically for the kids if you don't want the college and accept an upgrade. Suppose you got a college in the first round and you are not happy with the college and you want to upgrade that college. So there will be an option of accept an upgrade. So this is a basic idea which I had given in here. So now the, there is another important question which is among the students like regarding the colleges like this Trichy, Varangal, Suratkal. Raul Kela, MNIT Jaipur, this Triple IT Allahabad, uh, Motilal Nehru National Institute of Technology, which is again in Allahabad. Another is Bhopal, which is Morana National Institute of Technology, Morana Azad. Another is uh, so there are these are the you know top colleges which I suggest. So the, in the parents' mind, the question is. Suppose if the kid is not get is in Trichy, then what they think that they are not going for MNIT Jaipur. Frankly, if I tell you that MNIT Jaipur and the colleges, these, these uh, four or five colleges which I am telling you in North, they are very premium. So you should not miss this opportunity as well. So suddenly what happens is the kid is not, uh, because most of the people are from uh, in here from South. So what they think, like if you are not getting these colleges, then what we should go, we should go for like VAT. and other colleges which are in the north but i will suggest you should explore these colleges option and you should keep that in mind that these are the very premium colleges and instead of choosing that if you are choosing these colleges so according to me that is not a good idea you should definitely explore the north colleges as well that's all from my side guys my name is karan if you have any queries you can write us in the comment along with that you can join for the individual counseling that's all from my side guys my name is karan stay tuned stay safe stay blessed bye bye jai and jai bharat and as always god bless you all